Mark Phillips, my colleague at CNN, I believe is now available to us. He is there on the scene. Mark, if you can hear me, uh, what can you tell us at this point? At the moment, all we can tell you is, see, tell you is that uh, the boys have been found alive, all 12 boys and uh, the coach. But at the moment, they're too weak to move. So they're going to receive medical treatment before being pulled out of the caves, hopefully over the next couple of hours. What is the atmosphere like? The, the, the emergency services must be so relieved. Yeah, this is a long time uh, coming because as time went by, you know, the longer it goes on, the, the more worried that um, these boys weren't going to come out alive. But the Thai authorities never gave up hope. Sure. They always knew that they would find these boys, or they, that they were led to believe that they would find these boys. Um, so it's a major relief for them and for their families. And for their families and friends, of course. These are 12 boys and their football coach who have been missing for more than a week. And, Mark, as I understand it, divers from a, a Thai Navy SEAL unit have been for a period of time now within some distance, some, I don't know, 500 metres of where they believed these kids and their coach would be. Remind our viewers why the kids were in the cave in the first place. Well, they had a uh, practice set to football, and uh, one of the stories going around is that one of the boys uh, was turning 15, and um, they went up there to basically celebrate his birthday. That was one of the stories going around. But it was also to take the boys out for the weekend and to go through the caves. Now, the, the boys are local here. They know these caves very well. Um, so they were just basically, it was a Saturday afternoon. They were exploring. That's how they kind of ended up in the caves. And the media interest in this, of course, Mark, and you have been there, has been intense, correct? Finest, big finest. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I missed, the, missed the line broke up there. Just describe, just describe the, the media interest in this story. It's huge here. It's been wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Mm. Uh, when you go up there, there's crews from every network in Thailand there. Um, and it's just been 24 hours constantly going on. So even to the point where it's probably been a bit too much for the families, had to basically ret retreat from the media because there was so much attention around them. And I think there was so much stress happening mm. uh, that, that they couldn't cope with all the attention. Well, we know um, 1.6 million litres of water. We were just seeing images there being pumped from these uh, caves. So let's just sort of go over what we, what we know has uh, been happening. Until this point, at which, as Mark has just uh, reported, authorities say they have found these 12 kids and their coach. Too weak, though, to move at the moment. What we do know is that uh, the rescue services have been dropping uh, supplies into this cave, into the area where they thought uh, this group had been. And doctors had said that as long as they were able to get to these supplies, that these kids, there was a chance that they would survive. But clearly, as, as Mark pointed out, now, the media interest in this has been huge, and as the time has gone on, these families have become more and more concerned. So the relief, Mark, that these families and their friends and all of these international um, uh, men and women who've been helping, we're just looking at some of the images so, uh, of those who've been helping out, the relief must be palpable. It's huge. It's huge. It's that the, the nation's been gripped by this since it started. Um, and also, it's, it's, it has gatherized the, the nation. They've come together. They've been mm. writing notes. Nobody's really given up on the hope that these boys wouldn't survive. Everybody thought they would. And so that's why there's such relief. Because there was a concern that if they got to this part of the cabin called Pathia Beach and the boys weren't there, the thing was, what next? Because mm. these caves go on for 8 to 10 kilometres and it was difficult enough just to get to there. 
how much more difficult would it have been to keep on going? So to find the boys there is a huge relief for the authorities and just for the nation in general, actually.